Hi, I'm Basil Anand, founder and CEO of CoverHound.com, a fast and easy way to comparison shop for auto and homeowners insurance online. And today we're talking about the definition of an 80-20 auto insurance settlement. Liability auto insurance is required in every state so that if you are the cause of an accident, you have the proper financial protection to pay the victim of that accident to replace their vehicle or for any other liabilities that might arise. So insurance companies typically try to assign fault to determine were you at fault or was somebody else at fault. And that insurance company for the person who is at fault will typically pay for most of the claim. But as we all know, it's not necessarily black and white. Who caused the accident? A, a classic example is you get rear-ended. Is it the person's fault who rear-ended you? Usually it is, but what if you stopped short or suddenly s slammed on the brake causing that person who was otherwise following from a legitimate distance to slam into you? So there are some gray areas there and that's where an 80-20 settlement comes in. So after kind of working it out amongst themselves, an insurance company with another insurance company, the one who, uh, you, who the other person involved in that accident, might decide that it's mostly somebody else's uh, fault, but you're a little bit at fault. So 80% of the fault would be on the person who slammed into you, but maybe you did stop a little bit too short, so 20% of the blame would go to you, and your insurance company would pay for 20% of that damage. So if your insurance company is offering you an 80-20 settlement, ask the questions, determine how they figured that you had, you know, what fault is yours? Is it the 80 or is it the 20? Uh, and how did they come to that conclusion before accepting the settlement? I'm Basil Anand, founder of CoverHound, and thanks for listening.